Adjustable desk. Adjustable desk. This adjustable desk is able to move up and down easily so the person can sit or stand and change several times throughout the day. Calendar. Calendar. I kept a calendar on my desk and used pins to highlight important days for my main project. Clips. Clips. A large clip can hold a lot of paper together. Unlike staples, the sheets can be easily separated again. Conference phone. Conference phone. The conference phone was designed to be used by groups of people in meeting rooms. It has a speaker and sensitive microphones. Correction fluid. Correction fluid. Correction fluid is used to cover mistakes made when writing on paper with a pen. Diary. Diary. I used a small clip on the diary to mark the current week for easy access. Dictionary. Dictionary. A dictionary is a book explaining what words in a language mean. Drawing pin. Drawing pin. The lady used one of the drawing pins on the notice board to put up her latest drawing. Envelope. Envelope. The lady put the thank you letter into the envelope before sending it to her client. Eraser. Eraser. An eraser can be used to remove incorrect markings made by pencils on paper. Ergonomic chair. Ergonomic chair. The workstation had an ergonomic chair to be comfortable to sit in for long periods. Folders. Folders. As a backup, we keep printed copies of all important correspondence with major clients in folders. Headset. Headset. The headset made it easier to hear and speak with customers. Highlighter. Highlighter. We used a highlighter on the important areas of the document. Kitchenette. Kitchenette. The office has a kitchenette, a smaller version of the kitchen, but enough for people to make lunch and clean up after. Lamp. Lamp. The employee had an orange lamp on their table to help read files. Letter. Letter. The man wrote a love letter to his partner. Multifunction device. Multifunction device. The office had a multifunction device, a printer, scanner, photocopier, and fax, all in one. Notice board. Notice board. There was a notice board in the common area for staff to post announcements. Organizer. Organizer. The man liked his organizer as it allowed pages to be added, removed, and moved around as needed. Paper. Paper. A large spiral bound paper book was good to practice drawing on. It was easy to tear out my favorites. Paper clips. Paper clips. Paper clips can hold several pieces of paper together and are reusable. Pencil sharpener. Pencil sharpener. After snapping the lead off the pencil, I had to use the sharpener on it to keep drawing. Printer. Printer. The office only needed a smaller printer as it does most of the work digitally. Projector. Projector. The projector on the roof makes the picture on the wall for everybody at the conference to see. Quiet rooms. Quiet rooms. The office had some small quiet rooms for people to go to when talking on the phone so they could talk privately without disturbing others. Refill. Refill. 
It is good etiquette to refill the printer if you notice it is showing the low paper indicator. Ruler. Ruler. A ruler is useful for measuring distances and drawing straight lines. Scanner. Scanner. A scanner allows high resolution digitalization of images. Set square. Set square. A set square is useful for drawing and measuring angles, although I mostly use it for drawing right angles. Slide projector. Slide projector. Before computers, slide projectors were used to show images to groups of people. Stapler. Stapler. A stapler can be used to join many sheets of paper together with a staple. Staples. Staples. Staples are inserted into a stapler, which can be used to join sheets of paper together. Sticky notes. Sticky notes. I kept some sticky notes handy so I can write down good ideas before I forget them. Tape. Tape. I kept a roll of tape handy so I could easily attach handwritten notes to the edge of my monitor. Trash can. Trash can. We had a recycling program to minimize what went into the trash can. Tray. Tray. The office had a tray for people to put mail that was ready to send into. This meant that only one person had to walk to the post box each day.